Hi friends, this video is on linear equations in two variables, also called as a system of linear equations or simultaneous equations. I'm sure if you watch this full video, you're going to find the concept really easy. First, let's start off with a puzzle. I have this fruit basket here and it contains some apples and oranges. Now if I tell you that the total number of apples and oranges is 10. Can you tell me how many apples and how many oranges are in this basket? It's not possible, right? Because it could be one apple, nine oranges, or two apples, eight oranges, or three apples, seven oranges, and so on. But if I give you some more information, if I tell you that there are two more apples than the number of oranges. Now can you tell me what is the number of apples and oranges? There are many ways to solve this puzzle. One simple method is the hit and trial method, where you can try different values, such as one apple, nine oranges, two apples, eight oranges, and so on, and see which values will fit the puzzle. So if you keep trying like that, what is the answer that you get? That's right, it's going to be six apples and four oranges. So let me pull them out here for you. And as you can see, in this fruit basket, we had six apples, four oranges. The total is 10 and there are two more apples as compared to the oranges. Let's try a more mathematical approach to this puzzle. So if we put the information that we know in equations, what are we going to get? Apples plus oranges equals 10 and apples minus oranges equals 2. Now if we denote the number of apples as x and the number of oranges as y, our equations are going to become x plus y equal to 10 and x minus y equal to 2. Now this pair of equations that we have here are called linear equations in two variables or simply system of equations or also known as simultaneous equations. So we have two equations here and two variables or two unknowns x and y. These two equations can be solved by the algebraic method or by the graphical method. We are going to take a look at both these methods in this video. And as usual, we'll finish off with our top three questions on this topic. So are you ready to solve these two equations with me? Let's move on to our maths board and start with the algebraic method. Here are the two equations. If you consider the first equation, it has two unknowns, two variables, x and y. We can solve an equation if it has one unknown. So we are going to convert the first equation into one variable with the help of the second equation. From equation 2, we get x equal to 2 plus y. Substituting x equal to 2 plus y in equation 1, as you can see, now we have only one variable, y. So we can easily solve the equation. And solving we get y equal to 4. Now we can substitute y equal to 4 in equation 1 or equation 2 and we can get the value of x. So if we use equation 1 and substituting y as 4 on solving we get x equal to 6. So the solution of the equations is x equal to 6 and y equal to 4 and this matches the answer of our puzzle. This is called substitution method we are substituting one variable in terms of the other. This is a simple algebraic method that we saw here. There are other algebraic methods, but we'll do that in another video. Now let's take a look at the graphical method. For the graphical method, you need some graph paper. Now you may already know about graphs. First thing you need to do is draw the two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis and then we'll try plotting the two equations on the graph here. 
So are you ready to do some fun graphical stuff here? Let's start. First draw and label the two axes on the graph x x dash and y y dash intersecting at O. Next mark the positive and negative numbers on the axes. Since the space is less, I am just marking the even numbers 2, 4, 6 and so on. Obviously 1 is between 0 and 2, 3 is between 1 and 4 and so on. Now let's go back to our two equations. Let's start with the first equation. Writing it in the form y equal to 10 minus x will make it easier to get the value of y by taking different values of x. Let's draw a table and take different values of x. If we take x equal to 0, we can get the value of y from our equation. We get y equal to 10. Let's fill it in the table and we have our first point x comma y which is 0 comma 10. Next, let's take x equal to 2. You should take such values of x so that the point x comma y fits in the graph. Again on solving, we get y equal to 8. So our second point is 2 comma 8. Note you can also take negative values of x. For the third point, let's take x equal to 3. And on solving, we get the point as 3 comma 7. Let's plot our three points on the graph paper. Join and extend the line both ways. So here we have the graph of the equation x plus y equal to 10 as a straight line. And as you can see, it's passing through all the three points. Now label the equation x plus y equal to 10. An important tip is you should always take three points, not two points. Because with two points, you'll always get a straight line. But the third point is acting like a check. Because if the line does not pass through all the three points, then either your calculation is wrong or your plotting is wrong. So remember to always take three points. Now let's take the second equation. Here it will be better to write it in terms of x. So we have x equal to 2 plus y. So let's make our table again. This time we'll take values of y and solve for x. So for our first point, let's take y equal to 0. And on solving, we get x as 2. So the point x comma y becomes 2 comma 0. Similarly, taking y as 1, we get our next point 3 comma 1. And taking y as 3, we get our third point 5 comma 3. Now let's plot these three points on the same graph. Once again, we'll join the points and extend them both ways. So we get the graph of the equation x minus y equal to 2, which is the straight line here. Now mark the point of intersection of the two lines. And here it is 6 comma 4. So the solution is x equal to 6 and y equal to 4. So we got the same answer for our fruit puzzle, x equal to 6 and y equal to 4, or apples are 6 and oranges are 4, for all the three methods that we tried, the hidden trial method, the algebraic method, and graphical method. So let's put the summary of what we've learned till now on our concept board. When we solved our pair of linear equations in two variables, we got a unique answer, x equal to 6 and y equal to 4. Now an interesting question is, if you have two linear equations in two variables, do you always get a unique solution? What do you think? The correct answer is no. They need not give us a unique solution. But we'll look more into this in the part 2 video where I'll be giving three questions to my three students. And let's see what answers they come up with. Be sure to watch that video. I'll be sharing the link in the description below. Now that we are done with the concepts, are you ready for the top three questions on this topic?
Friends, practice makes you perfect. So try solving these questions and let me know your answers and doubts by putting it in the comments below. I promise to reply to all your comments as soon as possible. So I'm going to disappear and you pause the video here and give these questions a shot. You must be wondering why did we use a system of equations for this simple fruit puzzle? Well, the goal here is to learn this powerful concept that if you can express a problem in two equations with two unknowns, then you can easily solve it. Or you can determine that no solution exists. So I hope the concept of linear equations in two variables, also known as simultaneous equations, is crystal clear to you now. So I would like you to simultaneously subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page. And don't forget to watch the part two video where I'll be giving three of my students three different questions on this topic. And let's see what answers they come up with. Thanks for watching.